Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. I am, of course, Sacred the Drunken Arnold Monk. We are back in the infected. And uh, for those following my personal saga, I am out of my house. I am now officially the homeless drunken magician, which seems perfectly suited. And uh, I am <laughs> now in this swanky hotel, <laughs> staying in an apartment until our house is finished. So uh, if audio is weird, if video is weird, um, I'll be trying to figure that stuff out over the next couple weeks here. We'll see uh, We'll see how it goes, I suppose. You know, it's one of those, we're going to be doing a lot of learning on the fly. But today is going to be, oops, yeah, that'll work. It's going to be a pretty uh, standard episode where you're going to uh, basically to be doing a bunch of uh, extractor collecting and such. And uh, getting our shelves stocked back up because we have been uh, have been neglecting that just a little bit. You know, I got excited. I want to do some building, and uh, you know, it gets the best of us. But yeah, here we are collecting our iron extractors, which are uh, to the brim. Make sure that you know we keep the uh, iron production going. Got to get some more stone in the stone grinder because we do have some more glass windows that we need to finish up. But I'm pretty sure this is good uh, indicator that the cobalt and copper probably fairly full as well. So we'll go take care of those. Let's drop this off. Grab that clay and uh, see how that's. What do we got? We got like 30. 31, that's pretty good. It's a decent little amount of steel. Oh yeah, we got plenty of plenty of clay. Luckily, clay sand is light. And we just barely fit it. Oh no, we didn't quite take it all. We're gonna drop some bark chips. So we can take that. Wow, that's a lot of clay. Okay. Let's go put this stuff away so we can go out and grab cobalt. Uh, I did get a comment about not closing my doors. Yes, I'm very bad at that. I apologize, guys. But thank you for the comments. I do appreciate the feedback. Um, let me know what I'm doing wrong or I should be doing differently. Because, you know, that's how I learn. So... Uh, what we're going to do is just get some clay crafted up and away. Obviously not going to craft all of this because it's a kind of ridiculous amount right now. We'll work on more of that in the future. Because I would like to get some more, uh, uh, more bricks made, more concrete or cement made. Uh, continue work on that. So, you know. Fun stuff in the future. But for right now, I'll just do a few of these, get them out of the way. More than enough to uh, do some work, and probably more than enough, interestingly enough, it jacks my weight way up. And I'll get that put away. And yeah, we'll probably have some clay overflow, which is perfectly fine. So I'll drop that there there. Now we'll just uh, drop all these in there and uh, probably have to designate one as the overflow. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're definitely going to need a clay overflow. Do I have an empty crate up here? No, I do not. I think I just set one aside downstairs. So let's grab it. Yeah, that'll do. And we'll go ahead and name this one clay sand or clay soil, whatever, same thing. I'll call it whatever I want to call it. Um, soil. Okay, put that back on our shelf up here. Organize our ingots and our fragments. Get some of those stones into the uh, stone grinder. Let's get down there. Get to it. 
Yeah, mouse is just a little bit different. We're going to probably have to grab a uh, something to deal with that soon. Improvement. This hardwood table is not great, I'm not going to lie. Okay. Yeah, we'll take all those and throw them right into the stone grinder. That puts us just overweight, so we'll take the long, slow walk back. See what we have in there. A decent amount, but we'll turn it back on anyways. And not having it grinding. It's not, you know, full. So, um, stone grinder is back on. Okay, take the fragments. Those off. I didn't drop off all the stone, go figure. Okay. And should be able to just swap these two out. Should not be many uh, iron ingots over here. Nope, there's some nails, so screws and nails in there. On the cart with us. Come on, dude. Let's do. Uh. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. That wasn't hard, was it? Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> yes, yes, it was. Okay, let's put away. I think we have some animal fat on us. Uh, let's put that away. And yeah, it's plant fiber. Lovely. Okay, let's get our uh, ourselves out to cobalt. Uh, probably won't be bringing back any coal. Just flew right over there. Yeah, let's see if we have the stamina to make it all the way out there now. I think we're doing pretty good. Man, two clay extractors. I definitely don't need to go harvest any. That's very nice. Let's see where we're... There. Little bit, we're almost there. I think we're gonna make it in a single run. Probably would have done a little bit better had we not, you know, turned off course. And with two to go. Oh, yeah, look at that. Plenty of cobalt, which is great because our cobalt shelves look empty right now. Away. That up in there. That extractor gave us what 24. Okay, that's a pretty good haul. A couple of them. Lovely. Nice, leaves us with uh, four or five extra. Not bad, I must say. Looks like we're doing all right. Oh yeah, nice little rain coming in. 17 at night. The nice part about knowing where the other part is, is we can just take a straight shot to it. <laughs> Kind of lets us know where our other base is. Might be handy in the future to put those at, uh, put a log card at every base, and then we have a marker. Kind of wish there was like a bed marker. But you know what? The log card's going to do just fine. 
Yep, and we got six stamina to spare. Let's go uh, toss this copper in there. First, we're going to start a, uh, one of these. We're going to name it. Oops. Oh, I don't know what I just did. Don't want to do that. Sorry, guys. Move the microphone so I can't reach a uh, keyboard with both hands right now. So, you know, trying to keep a little bit quiet while we're staying at our swanky place. Because I want to upset the neighbors. That would be just awful. And uh, as the beautiful assistant said, and I was like, oh, I'm not that loud when I'm recording gameplay. And she's like, yeah, I agree. You're kind of, you're kind of pretty damn loud. So... I said, okay, I'll move the camera up and try to watch my language and watch my, uh, my volume. But now I can't reach the other half of my, <laughs> my keyboard, which is fine. I don't use it that much, really, only when I'm typing stuff. So I'm going to have to do too much more naming while we're doing this. But yeah, we're just going to get these ores dropped in there before we go ahead and grab a copper. Might even go play in the mine for a minute. One of those steel, very nice. Don't hate that. Who knows? I don't know if you could hear that. We might get even get lucky and hear some uh, people out in the hallways. It's always exciting. Always nice to hear bits and pieces of other people's conversations when you have no idea what the context is. Uh, this this could be a lot more fun than I had anticipated. Uh, let's get some of those out of there. Get that loaded up. Okay, stone grinder is full, so we'll uh, we'll take that out after we get this next run done. There it was again. I don't know. Uh, who knows? Maybe it's the beautiful assistant watching something or something. Okay, working on that door closing. Thing. Always close the doors. Always close the doors. Okay, let's get over to Copper. I think we'll be able to get over there just before it's dark. And since it's dark anyways, we may go play around in the cave for a minute. This should get our shelves restocked pretty nice. Well, it depends. I guess visiting the cave will thoroughly depend on whether we have any room left after we grab all the copper. It might be a thing we don't have. Yeah, I probably need to start building an outpost out here. Probably not a bad idea. Yeah, just overflowing. Drop all that coal right on the ground. Oh, nope, don't drop the copper ore, Hickory. That's not what you want to do. Okay. Drop uh, that right in there. It'd be interesting to watch the playback on this too because uh, I'm not on my awesome home internet that <laughs> I spent a lot of money on. So it'll be interesting to see how uh, the internet here does. And uh, you know, if uploads are similar. Or... I'd have to get a. Uh, different program to record on that isn't browser based but we'll see you know that's all about the learning curve wouldn't hurt anyways to branch out and try new software okay that's 40 copper And 19 of them. Yeah, I guess we'll go mess around in the 
mess around in the caves for a second. It's not going to hurt to have a few extra or get a few lead to get a few steel. That's for sure. I didn't know if I had my light on or not. So yeah, let's, uh, let's run back here for a little bit and see if we can spot us some uh, horse, some rocks, whatever you want to call them. There we go. Like that. Right off the bat. Oh yeah, always difficult underwater, that's for sure. There we go. Nice. Love me some lead. I'm very excited about the next update. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I am pretty damn stoked. I can't wait to get a crossbow. Um, I hope that someday we're able to put like a some type of upgraded sights or something on it. That really, really make me happy. But then again, just having the crossbow would be awesome. I'm pretty excited about it. I don't even care that it's more powerful. I'm just <laughs> excited to not be shooting a regular bow. Because, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a, uh, I'm not an archer. Although I do really enjoy shooting my crossbow. Crossbow's a hell of a lot of fun. But remember, kids, be safe. <laughs> uh, you know. Shoot at, shoot at targets that are safe. Uh, generally packed is good safety when you're doing that kind of thing. But I was lucky enough that the beautiful assistant got me one for Christmas a couple of years ago. And uh, we love to take that thing out. And it's fun because places where we couldn't uh, shoot uh, other things, uh, we have enough space for the crossbow. And it's not that loud. It is loud. It's louder than I expected, that's for sure. I did not expect the crossbow to make uh, make quite as much noise as it does. And yeah, it pumps a bit. Like, not enough that you want to like put on ear protection or anything. And I suppose you could. And if I was uh, shooting with somebody who is uh, younger or had very sensitive hearing, I might suggest that they do. But... Overall, it's not not that bad, but it is louder than the movies make it out to seem. That's for sure. I always thought they were like, even me as a guy who is a uh, let's just say a magic wand enthusiast and uh, loves all the different wands of all the different calibers. I was even myself duped by the. Uh, some industry and the thinking that crossbows were near silent. Nope. Nope, not at all. Okay, let's see what we got for lead here. Uh, so that's 20. We can carry a few more. Let's just grab a couple more. There's no point in going back light handed. Might as well go back carrying just about as much as we can. Oh man. Only had a couple beers. I'm going to be seeing double here. thought I saw another ore and then it wasn't there where I thought it was. I suppose that happens. Uh, 57.2 degrees in the cave. 10.46 at night. We're just running around in here like a madman. Yeah, let's uh, get the hell out of here. Back. See what our base looks at night, man. It looks so pretty. 
I love this view of it. Yeah, right over here. I have to shut off the light. No, maybe not quite yet. Oh, there we go. Oh man, that thing is so pretty. I just to get a good view of it out here at night. Be happy with how this thing's come along. Let's, uh, yeah, we gotta take those down too here in a minute. Uh, 38, that's pretty sweet. Oh, you're Can't turn down free food. Why would I do that? Cobalt will be done. We can put that away. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful cobalt. So pretty in the forges. Almost makes me want to like layer it in there with copper sometimes just to see the alternating bricks in the forge. It'd be really be cool. It sounds like a ton of effort though. Not really into that. Uh, these are lining up weird, so let's get more on it. There we go. But I'm not quite a fan of that. It's all wonky. I mean, I realize it's my fault. Don't get me wrong. I'm not blaming anybody but myself. Okay, we almost filled the cobalt shells back up. That's not bad. I guess we throw copper in there next. Copper going, we'll sort out the lead and then go grab the aluminum. Uh, call this one an episode. Uh -oh, copper and lead, that one's just copper. Nice. That took off. Beautiful. Still overweight. Go figure. You got a beautiful assistant. I will charge that phone in a heartbeat. She slung out here so soft, quiet. It was beautiful. Okay, so there's that. Let's, uh, these go drop them off in the uh, lead and iron designated area over here I guess it'll take a minute but we'll get to see where we're at on lead it seems like we have a good amount of it or not I can't remember uh, no we dealt with it all okay I'll have to do another lead run here at some point, but that's a future episode. Okay. Well, we're up to 38. That's not bad. Certainly be worse, I suppose. Uh, that was copper. Take that, put that in the one call, but worse. Nice. Okay, so those are cooked. So, uh, I say, do I want to go grab the aluminum yet? No, what I want to do is drop some of these off. I shouldn't have grabbed that many because they're never all going to fit in there. What do I got? Okay. So, this one's going to be sand. Uh, we'll get 
get those dropped in there. Clear ourselves out some space. get the stone grinder back up and running. There we go. Sand. That should allow us to get that going again. A quick click on it. There we go. Going, we might as well strip some more out. Get that put away. Yeah, excited to see how this one went because, well, when things are different, sometimes things are different. And, uh, Definitely we have to be watching this playback, checking things out, to make sure everything's going all right. Yeah, there's some fragments there. Let's name that one frag. Nice. Those clicked in. No, oh, I hear you, pig. I'm thinking about it. After the last bore, I'm a little uh, bore shy, I'm not going to lie. That was a terrifying moment, if you guys didn't see, where I took a poor shot from behind on a bore. I thought I could hit him in the head. And uh, things did just not go as well as I had thought they were going to. And, uh, yeah, I almost, uh, almost got bored to death. It's... Uh, Mildly nerve wracking. But yeah, we'll get these frags away. Next episode, we will be uh, starting off by going to grab the aluminum. That'll be good. And uh, and I think we're going to start working on a project I've kind of wanted to be doing for a little while. And it looks like we're finally at a spot where I'll have some time. So. Those drop in there and almost have enough room, so it's like starting another one. I think that means it's probably time to cook off some aluminum. Let's drop these off or some iron. Those down. Yeah, I got the weird lineup. All right, just click the circles, Hickory. Just click the circles. That's how it works when you do it like that. And now we got some iron cooked up because I'm pretty sure we're late on iron. We got some projects ahead of us. Big. Uh, we got a fourth fridge episode to go. We're gonna build. I want to build a second greenhouse, and then uh, we also need to start uh, outposts. Like, uh, be kind of like a big deal. Not be nothing. Having to uh, need to get some outposts going. That would be wonderful. Some places to stay so we can stay away from base for a little bit. And obviously just kind of waiting for this next update, man. It's going to be huge. I'm really, really excited about finding this truck. I feel like it's going to take forever and a half to find it, and I'm totally okay with that. It'll be, uh, be interesting for sure, but I'm pretty sure that right there, my friends, is where I am going to leave the episode. We almost ran into half an hour. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Please share, like, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below to let me know what you'd like me to see or what you don't want to see. It's almost just as important. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I, of course, Hickory the Drunken and Rolling. Hope you guys enjoy the infected as much as I do. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.
Cheers. <laughs>